This video will show you how to open a monument from one of our many popular books and brochures. First, log in and find your dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, click Start a New Design and your blank canvas will load. This is the canvas where you will build your new monument design. You may begin with one of our designs or start from scratch. In this video, we're going to use one of our classic designs from one of our books and brochures. When you select Classic Designs, a menu of all of our series will appear. To open a series, click the title. You may open a design in one of two ways. First, you may browse a particular book and look for the monument you're looking for by simply clicking the icon of that particular book. You may adjust your preview to a different number of columns and you'll be able to move to the next page of monuments at the bottom of the window. Second, there is another way to locate a monument using the search tool. Click the magnifying glass icon and type the number of the design you wish to use. For best results, just enter the number with no D, DM, DME, or anything else in front of the number. You only need to enter the number. You may also enter a keyword such as a rose or cross. As you'll see, the designer will display any design from that series featuring a cross or a rose. Please clear the search bar when you're done. Clearing the search will help you browse for other items later. To view our classic designs by book, you'll want to click on the third icon on the left. You'll notice that if you hover your mouse over icons, a description of what that icon is will show up to the right of it. You will see how many pages of designs there are. Click the previous and next to browse through the pages. You have the option to view previews at different sizes before bringing them onto the canvas. You can adjust your preview size here. For this demonstration, we will start with something simple, such as D922. I can browse for the design or enter 922 in the search bar and see that there is one result. Results are displayed in red at the bottom right corner of each icon. Double click D922 or click and drag D922 onto your canvas. To minimize the menu, click the button in the top right corner. The default color is blue-gray granite. You may change your default color in your own account dashboard. To move the monument for a better view, you may use one of two options. First, you may use the pan tool located at the bottom left. Second, you may use your select all button to select all pieces of the monument and use your selector tool to move the monument around on your canvas. To the right, you will see your editor docker. This will change depending on what piece of the monument you have selected. You may move the docker around on your screen or even hide it using this button. Below the editor docker is the layers docker. This will hold each piece or layer of your design. Here you may rearrange the order of your layers, duplicate them, and delete them. This docker can also be moved or hidden using this button. To add a family name to D922, click the text tool near the top of your toolbar on the left side of your screen. Some starter text will appear on your canvas. To edit the text, be sure the text has a line under it by clicking it with a selector tool located at the bottom left of your screen. The starter text will appear in your editor docker. You may delete the starter text and type your own. Be sure to use all caps for traditional monument letters. You don't want family to look like this. You want it to look like this. Lowercase should only be used for a name such as McDonald or in an abbreviation such as Junior or Senior. Change the size of your text here. I think three inches will be a good size for this panel. 
and I can also adjust the spacing between the letters by clicking and dragging the letter spacing tool. You will notice my text is not exactly in the center of the panel. Next, I will align my text in the center of this panel by being sure my text is selected and holding down my shift key to select the panel. I can align the text in the panel by clicking the horizontal and vertical alignment tools. This time I will align by selecting the panel and lettering by clicking outside the monument and dragging a box around the panel and lettering. Once they've both been selected, click the horizontal and vertical alignment tools and the text will be centered in the panel. Dress up your presentation by adding a colorful background by clicking the background icon and then clicking the desired background. You may change the position of the monument on the background by using the pan tool or you may use your select all button and then use your selector tool to move the entire monument to a new location. To save your work, enter a file name at the top right of your screen. Hit the enter key on your keyboard. Now the monument is saved in your dashboard. You may print by going to file, and print design. Other videos will teach you how to save files for use with various CAD and stencil cutting systems. Congratulations, you've just customized your first monument using Design Mart's online monument designer.